We all need inspiration. But where does it come from? From watching a movie, reading a book, or walking on the beach? Is it that simple? Or is it more than that? Well, there are ways to help us find inspiration. I'll get to that in a little bit. But why does it feel so hard sometimes? Sometimes an artist blog can be a real thing. It can feel like you've lost something and been looking for it, but you can't find it. Or maybe you have an idea and you're inspired to execute it. And before you know it, it's gone. It's like a butterfly slipping away from you every time you try to catch it. If you go through this, the first thing you want to do is to stop trying and forcing it. Next, it would be best to have a break before trying to find inspiration. I think I need a break. I don't know what color to choose for the background or overall color theme and I think a break will help me get inspired and hopefully come back with new ideas so I can start painting again. Doing something physical is also a good way to relax because it helps us feel better physically and mentally. It's time to work on this painting. last night and I did some light shades for the skin and some darker shades or tones and for this one I did some toning for the canvas and then I did draw a figure with colored pencil and I used two colors as you can see here and I did some shading just to make it easier. And here you can see that I had the figure drawn here, but it was wrong in perspective and size. So I had to cover it with some paint and then I redid the whole thing again, a little bit bigger. And I like it this way better. So this is what I'm going to work on uh, right now. Finding inspiration is simpler than a lot of people think. One of the ways that helped me find inspiration is whenever I'm out in the city or walking in nature, I take note of things. Take note of things. When something catches your eye and attention, please take note of that, because that could be the very thing that will inspire you and maybe spark a new idea in your mind. Maybe it's a color, a pattern or even a shape that you see, write it down at the moment, or better yet, take a photo of it. Ask yourself, what do these colors make me think? How do I feel when I see them? What memories are triggered by seeing these colors together? Perhaps they remind you of your favorite dress or painting you've seen before, or maybe their design is unique. Either way, all those notes, questions, and answers are like brainstorming about what you want to paint next or what to write next. You'll find answers and your creativity will flow much easier this time. Whenever I see something that catches my eye, I take photos and post them on social media. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see them on my stories from time to time. 
It helps everyone get a little more inspiration and spark new ideas. Books can be a great source of inspiration for writing, painting, so try to spend some time at the library. Browse different books and magazines and see what other artists make. I highly recommend checking out interior design books. They have amazing colors and designs that could be a great source of inspiration and spark new ideas into your work. This painting took a long time for me to finish, but I'm finally almost done. I only have a few more touches to add, and that's it. When it's done, after six months from finishing the painting, I will be varnishing this painting, but it has to be really dry. Browse online. Browse online to get inspired to make art. Look online for old master artworks. There are a lot of museums and galleries. You can find inspiration for your art there too. And you can even visit some museums online without having to leave your home. They have virtual visits. Sometimes inspiration can be hard to come by, even though you've done everything you can. But just because you're not feeling inspired doesn't mean you can't create something beautiful. The best way to get your creative juices flowing is to just start painting. If it's not what you had in mind and if it's not how it should look like, that's okay. Grab your paint, grab your brushes and start making something. And before you know it, you're going to be creating something beautiful. And then you're going to be inspiring other people to create their own artwork. With this note, I'll leave you guys now and I hope you have a wonderful time and I'll see you in the next one.